Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of lights. I can't see behind the lights. Uh, welcome to our Monday night chat. My name is Lisa Robertson. This is uh, my Facebook page, so that makes sense. Um, earlier today, David and I were talking about this beautiful, beautiful cuff bracelet that just started at noon today, and we were reminding you that tonight is our weekly chat. We're going to have a preview of what's coming up this week, and we're going to have a quick review of the beautiful advanced orders that we've had from Italy in honor of the Vicenza Jewelry Fair, which they would normally be having right now, but they canceled because of what's going on in the world and everybody traveling. But we have some absolutely beautiful pieces and we're just gonna remind you of those in the beginning of our chat. I wanna remind you tonight of a couple things. Number one, this is not every detail of every item. I'm telling you that because I hate to see you reel against the machine. Um, and afterwards, I inevitably go back and read comments and somebody's like, well, I want to know about something about this, and what's the word? like? No, this is just this is just a preview. This is just a, a quick kind of high level. Put things in front of you so you know when there's something you want to make sure you don't miss. I want to remind you that every day at noon Eastern time we have brand new shopping that goes up, and Monday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time we have brand new shopping. The best way to know what's coming up is to subscribe to the email. Every time a new boutique goes up, you get an email that says, "Here's what you can shop for now." Every evening, an email goes out that says. Here's what you can shop for now and or here's a link and you can see what's coming up tomorrow. So then you know if you want to set your alarm and make sure you're there right on time because sometimes things go really, really fast and you always want to be first in line. Okay, so the tonight's a preview. Lots of great things coming up. We're going to start out with some beautiful jewelry. Kate is very carefully hey, putting this missing. over <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the edge of the rug. Thank you, Kate. And look at this. Look at this. Jewelry. Oh my gosh. So David Markstein is joining us. David is our jewelry buyer. He's been in the jewelry industry for... Don't tell my age. Um, you know, he started as a child and uh, <laughs> it's been a long career. Normally, David and I would be in Italy right now. David, how many Vicenza jewelry fairs have you been to? I, I lost count, but it's definitely over 80. Yeah. So, um, because at one point there were three a year. Three a year. Yeah. yeah. Um, so normally, one of the red. So normally, we would be in Italy right now at the Vicenza Jewelry Show, uh, but they did cancel it fairly close to when it was going to happen because of, of course, travel and what's going yeah. on in the world. But we don't wait for the jewelry show. One of the things that we found is that the jewelry show is really, in a lot of cases, finalizing and looking for a few new exactly. pieces because we are constantly working with Italy over the the changes that have happened in the world in the last couple of years. We have become so involved on a day-to-day -day basis with our partners in Italy yeah. and the factories, really, really working on beautiful jewelry for you, that our emphasis has shifted from the shows being so important to really the everyday being important and the shows yeah. just being the frosting you know, cake. I, I was thinking about it. Traditional retailers, I think they rely on these shows, some of these shows, if they're going. Mm -hmm. And when it doesn't happen, they're like, oh no, what do we do now? But right. Because we're always working with the factories even if they close, we're like, we got this, you know, yeah. we got this, it's okay. Yeah. And this yeah. is what we're bringing you tonight. So I'm so, so excited. One of the things that we did, because the show would have started on Friday right. and it would have ended tomorrow, would have been the last day of the show, is that we have had an absolutely beautiful piece of jewelry, specially for you, brand new, going to be made for you out of the fresh rolls yeah. from the factories that would have been at the show the other retailers haven't even seen these yet because we pulled the samples yep. just for you. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today at noon, we started out with something brand new each day, Every made day. just for you from Italy, and we're gonna remind you of this. Absolutely, and we'll tell you more about the story of how we work with the factories up front, and they trust us, we'll get more into that, but let's, where do you wanna start? Uh, well, let's start with Friday. Let's start with Friday because this is so popular since Friday. Gorgeous, yeah. So one of the things that is synonymous with Italy is, of course, cameos. Italy is known for their master carvers in the world of cameos. The shells usually come from Portugal, uh, but the, the factories that are known for the carving are Italy. But one of the things that's amazing, I'm just going to set this down very quickly so that you don't have to worry about me <laughs> being shaky when I'm holding it. One of the things that is amazing is that it is increasingly difficult to find really high-end cameo carvers in Italy. It is. Um, you find a lot of cameos, but a lot of them look a little rough and unfinished. Almost like an impressionist version of a painting. You know, Absolutely. it's not the realist, it's not the yes. renaissance, it is impressionist. It kind of looks a little rough. That's because the carvers don't have the skill and the expertise that they used to. Yes. But there are a few factories yes. that have the master artists, the master sculptors, 
that create the most beautiful cameos. Those are the only factories we deal yep. with and they made these for us. And it's so true because there are a lot of cameo factories and we would, we would get samples and we're like, yeah, this, that's not yeah, up to our standards. Done. But this, these are really works of art and the skilled craftsmanship that's behind these canvases are just amazing that they're all hand carved. When you think about it, you know, a painter has a canvas. These, these, these amazing Italians are working on a shell to carve and create a design. And the traditional design, Lisa, is normally a beautiful woman. Right. That's the traditional. But look what they've done here. So, you know, you, you got to realize that even if I'm not a painter, yeah. if I painted the same thing every day, I would get better and better at it. But don't ask me to paint something else. A master carver doesn't have to carve the same thing every day. They can carve something completely new. That's why only master carvers can do these cameos. And I was showing it to you this way because I want you to see how, do you see how it's not flat? Because yeah. it's a natural shell. Yeah. Shells aren't flat. So when you have a larger cameo like this, especially, you're gonna see the curves of the natural shell. So these are cameos that are created, are going to be made just for you. Yep. We have five different designs and they are all the most beautiful places in Italy, the most iconic things in Italy, the things that if you've ever been yep. to Italy, you remember and you cherish and you think, oh my gosh, I have a picture standing right there. And I remember talking to the vendor <laughs> and like, this cameo factory was prepared to introduce these five cameos, different cameos from the show. Mm -hmm. And we're like, no, no, no. We not only want one of them, we need all of them. We need to have that first. We want to present them now. and. Um, because they trust us, this is what you have. And I'll let you run through all okay. the choices. So I want to remind you that typically a retailer would go to the Vicenza Jewelry Fair and they would say, oh, that's a beautiful sample. Um, why don't you send me that sample? And, when does and, the you sample know, come? and one or two months, yep. the sample yep. would come. And they'll look at it and they'll comment. And then they'll send it back and they'll ask for an order. Yep. And three or four months, the order will come. So six months down the road, this might end up in a store. That's right. No other retailer has even seen these because we have the samples. They're going to be made for you before they're even made for and nobody else in the yes. market's even going to see it before you have it and you're yeah. going to have it in a matter of weeks it's crazy so this is the largest of the five cameos and this is going to be the rialto bridge oh, this is over oh. the the grand canal in venice this is iconic this is everybody who goes to venice has to go to the rialto bridge it is an architectural wonder it's beautiful from every direction and you have to stand in the center, looking each direction and take pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. This brings back so much nostalgia because we've been there many times. Oh yeah. I've been there many times on my own. It just, I, I, I can envision where this is and the detail, look at the attention to detail between the terracotta color with the white, that's all the carving, it's dimensional. Um, and this is beautiful. just a beautiful shape. And, and they've created this beautiful frame all the way around with the flowers and the leaves. I mean, it's, and the gondola, which is of course synonymous yeah. with Venice. It's just, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's just beautiful. So this is gonna be probably the largest of our five cameos yes. and absolutely gorgeous. This is the Rialto Bridge. Now, right up here, we have St. Mark's. St. Mark's is, of course, one of the most iconic, iconic places in the world. Yes. St. Mark's is, um, of course, the, this is kind of looking over the lagoon to St. Mark's, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have, of course, St. Mark's in the background. Here's the, the bell tower. You have all the beautiful, you know, this is just iconic with the gondola in the, in the front. So this is Venice as you're looking at it from the water. Yep. This is St. Mark's, and this is surrounded by a beautiful, beautiful border of flowers. Notice how strategically they, they, they clasp this. They see the metal on the sides. They don't want to disturb the, the design at all. So they're so good at doing this because they have to attach it to the bale. And the only way to do that is to put something there. But look, look how clean that is. This is all done by hand, Lisa. It's amazing. And I've seen this done. I was at a cameo factory once mm -hmm. and I just didn't want to leave. I said, wait, you're doing, I, I'm, you're not done yet. I right. want to stay here. <laughs> and, and, and by the way, I could have been there all day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one cameo. Right. It takes so long. So those are two. We have the uh, Rialto Bridge over the canal in Venice. Here, of course, the St. Mark's in Venice. Right over here, we have the Bridge of Sighs. Now, the Bridge of Sighs is one of the most beautiful and poignant landmarks in all of Italy. And you have to think about, you know, in, at different points in history, Venice was not a city. Venice was its own country. Mm -hmm. For all intents and purposes, it was its own country. If you ever want to read about the story of the Fourth Crusade, it started with the Blind Doge in Venice. Yep. A lot going on there. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> this is the Bridge of Sighs. Now right here is the edge of the Palace of the Doge. 
and this is the palace where there was a courtroom. And in that courtroom, if you were sentenced by the doge, you were taken through a series of back hallways across this bridge to the prison. This is the prison, and you can tour the prison now. And these windows in that bridge were your last look at daylight as a free man. Yeah. And that is called the Bridge of Sighs. Everyone stands where you would see this. Everyone stands on the bridge, you know, with the lagoon at your back. Yeah. And then you, you look down the, this canal and you see the Bridge of Sighs. Everyone takes a picture. Everyone wants to see it. Everyone, it is one of the most iconic things and so touching and so beautiful and so moving. And here you have it carved into this cameo. And once again, look at the curve. Every one of these is going to be slightly different. Everyone's different. Cause everyone is hand carved on a shell. That's amazing. Then we have this, this is the Ponte Vecchio. The Ponte Vecchio is the heart and soul of the jewelry industry in Italy. Now, if you're saying, I thought the factories were the heart and soul. The factories are the heart and soul, but this is where everyone goes to shop. Yeah. For the beautiful jewelry that the factories make, it is this epicenter, this nexus of jewelry in the world. And this is in Florence, in Firenze. You go to Florence, and in Florence you don't drive around, mm -hmm. and you park outside the city, yeah. and it's a walking city, and you walk down the streets, and there's artists doing the, the chalk paintings on the, the sidewalks and in the street, and you have a little cafe, and you have a little coffee, and you go to yeah. the Cafe de Repubblica, yeah. and you have a little cup of coffee by the main square, and you look at the architecture, and then you go to the Uffizi, and then you keep on going straight, and you get to the water, and you take a right, and then you take a left, and then you're on the Ponte Vecchio. The Ponte Vecchio is one of the most ancient bridges in all of Italy. Yeah. It's over the Arno River, and in the great flood of 1964, where people came from all over the country to stand in mud up to their chest and pass art from hand to hand to save the art in Italy That's from amazing. being ruined by the flood, I this bridge that. stood. The mud angels are what they yeah. call it. Yeah. So this is the Ponte Vecchio. You hear us saying, oh, this is, looks like something you would see in the Ponte Vecchio. That's because this is where the finest factories in Italy create beautiful pieces for people all over the world. That's yeah, so true. And that's it. This is, to me, one of the most famous landmarks for, for me personally. I've been many different places. I love Rome, love, love all the, you know, um, mm -hmm. just all different places. I've been to the Amalfi Coast. To me, there's something about this this Ponte Vecchio bridge that I feel at home. Yes. I've been there a lot. It just it just feels so good to look off the bridge and just to see the people and the excitement going on there. And I just think this is so um, iconic. And I have to say, if you ever go in springtime with the beautiful flowers oh. on either side of the river, and oh, it's just it's it's so beautiful. So this is the Ponte Vecchio yep. that you hear us talking about, and this has a beautiful soft. Yep almost a leaf-like frame all it the does. way around. Then last but not least, this is once again, the Lion of St. Mark's right here. So if you were standing in the main square of St. Mark's and St. Mark's is in front of you and you look to your left, and when you look to your left, you're gonna look past the palace of the Doge. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to see two great columns. And the one right next to the palace is the Lion of St. Mark's. Yes. It is the symbol of Venice. And it is one of the most beautiful, iconic pieces of art that is also, again, this was, for all intents and purposes, its own country. Yep. It was a great maritime power. They had an amazing army. They were one of the richest, richest places in the world. This was their symbol, Lion of St. Mark's, right there going out of St. Mark's Square. And I love the way that you're looking past so the Palace of the Doge. You see the beautiful, beautiful gondolas and little ships right here because right here is the water and then there's the Lion of St. Mark. So these are all pieces that are made by the Italians. They are representations of the heart of Italy, yeah. the love that the Italian people have for their country, these iconic places that we would all love to go and that bring back great memories yep. if you've gone. And these are going to be made for you before anyone else ever sees it each and every one done by hand, and they are amazing. And the last thing I will say is these are probably five of the most spectacular cameos I've seen. I've seen a lot of cameos, and there's two things going on here. They decided to pick scenes around Italy. I've never seen that before. I, I'm used to like the traditional uh, scenes that you would see on a cameo. Next thing is the shapes. All mm -hmm. of these shapes are very different. Usually you have the traditional oval or something, but some of these are rectangular. Some of these have the carving going outside the normal mm -hmm. uh, picture that you would see. Just everything about this is beautiful. I know we have to move on, so. I know, we're 16 minutes in and I just love talking about them, so I forget we have to talk about other things. Okay, okay. so okay. these are um, 
not going to be available forever. These are very, very limited, very limited time. And they've told us because there are only a certain number of artists that have that skill level and they know how long it takes them to carve those. They've given us very strict instructions on how many they can do in the time that they have to get it to you when we promise. So please get those if you love them. So now, now we go from old world craftsmanship right? to so then we huh. were talking about this beautiful, yes. beautiful bracelet. This reminds me a little bit of chain mail. Yeah, it does. Way. It's this really, really beautiful series of links. And you can just see, look how flexible. It just Drapes. pulls. Look at this. It just puddles. I was it's, taking oh. a finger and just letting it go from a dropping from a, yeah, look at that. Just like it just, it just drops like fabric. Um, and this is so intricate. I love what they've done here because they've taken circles and they've connected them one by one. This is very high-end designer. This is the type of piece that you would find walking Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. You would find on Rodeo Drive if you were on walking. The Via Condotte. Via Condotte. <laughs> Everywhere. But I just think this represents what's happening in the world of jewelry. It's that statusy look. It's that wide, uh, you know, once-in-a-lifetime bracelet that you have. And this is all 18 karat gold over sterling silver. I'm sorry, this is uh, 18 karat This is a bronze. bronze. Yes. Yeah, I was yes like, thank you. I was like, what? <laughs> cool. um, but I just think there's something about this that's so magical. It's just a standalone piece and it just it's just beautiful. I love the all high polished surfaces. It feels so good yeah. on your wrist. And each and every one of these had to be put together by hand, finished by hand. There's so much hand work. We have yep. it in the rose, the white, or the yellow. It's going to be made for you and it feels like, oh my gosh, heaven, heaven. on your wrist. So this has been very, very popular, and this is a beautiful piece. Again, no one else has even seen this yeah. sample. This is one that we um, work directly with the factory on just for you, and I think it's so beautiful. Yes. Then we, we look at something that is, in my opinion, it's interesting because in different ways, these are all what Italy is known for. Yeah. Italy is known for its cameos. We showed you those. Italy is known for really beautiful, intricate pieces that require an amazing amount of labor. That's this. Italy is also known for pieces that are bold mm -hmm. and timeless at the same time. They're able to create a design that's never going to go out of style. How hard is that? That's I mean, so think about it. That is, we're not, it's not a fad, it's not a trend. Yep. It's never going to go out of style. And it's interesting because I have a good friend mm -hmm. who has um, inherited an absolutely beautiful gold bracelet. Yeah. 18 karat, made in Italy, probably 60, 70 years ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it is this bracelet. And I just look at this and go, oh my gosh. It does have, it look so vintage. It, it does. At once, somehow it looks vintage and somehow it looks brand new. And I love the fact that this is available in four different color options, rose, white, yellow, and two-tone. And it's reversible. It is amazing. Yeah. So you can see that on here. And if you, when you get close up on this, I want to describe that texture. These are very, very tight lines, all done by hand. And when you see it, it's just unbelievable that they could make a bracelet with this texture where you think it's almost diamond cut but it's not it's actually part of what they do to to the, the metal and to me that's just unbelievable now this is a bold statement piece but it's very wearable and you can wear it this way where you have the juxtaposition of those polished links with those beautiful satin links or you can reverse it and this is being offered in a choice of all yellow, all white, all rose, or we have the two-tone version, which has been extremely popular. Yes. Because two-tone is everywhere right now. I'm seeing it more and more. Well, and two-tone is just always so easy. Like, it's fresh. should I get yellow or should I get white? Wait, I'll get both. Yeah. <laughs> Am I wearing yellow today? Am I wearing white? Wait, it doesn't matter. Yeah. My bracelet goes with everything. Yeah. So I think it's just, it's such an easy, easy choice. Yeah. And this is so beautiful, so substantial, so beautifully done. I love the clasp. I love the texture. I love how versatile it is. Once again, I love how it feels on. It's so beautiful, so gorgeous, so rich, so important, so wow. And, and not what you're gonna see everywhere. Not what you're gonna see everywhere. You can't see it anywhere yet because we have the only samples, <laughs> which, is, which is what we do. You know, we, 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 we have so much trust they trust us so much in these factories and they're like, okay, 
we've worked with you before. We know how you order. We know what you do. We we know you you help us with ideas. Mm -hmm. Here here here's one for you that we're going to do for you. Which uh, and I always mention it, but I think it, it's true. There are not many small companies that are able to do that. If no. you're a big company, you yeah. can. You know, but if you're a small company, uh, that's it's really unusual, and it's something yeah. that I think is very important, and I think is one of the reasons why we're able to bring you so many gorgeous pieces yep. of jewelry. Now, finally, last but not least, this was the piece that started today. These are all only available for a limited period of time. Please do not wait too long. Every single time we do an advance order, it never fails. The minute we have to close the order and give Italy the numbers, somebody sends an email. I missed it. You're like, did you not? I, we told you. <laughs> Please, you have to pay attention. We really do at some point. We have to give them the numbers, and they have to have them at the right time. So please, if you love something, definitely grab it. This is literally three bracelets in one. So here you have this beautiful woven. Here you have this beautiful woven. And connected at every point perfectly in between, this is a flexible curve connected perfectly to this beautiful bangle above and below. The demand for expertise in creating that and executing that is unbelievably high. I was talking to the, the, um, the factory on this, and they were telling me that there was so much trial and error. In other words, it took them maybe 30 attempts because they would be what we call solder points. Every little point where that curve is has to attach to that woven. And if it's wrong, it kinks. It, it doesn't stay put. This is where they ended up. And it is one of the most beautiful bracelets I've ever seen. It's very high end. It's very couture. Um, it reminds me of one of our, one of the very high end designers. Um, mm -hmm. does a lot of its woven look and yes. it's just a very fresh approach to a cuff bracelet. It reminds me of something you would find on the Ponte Vecchio. Yes. You know, in 18 karat gold, if you ever go to Italy, uh, one of the things you'll find is that of course there's a lot of good food and number two, the jewelry is very expensive because yeah. you're talking about 18 karat gold and it's just not, it's not inexpensive, it just isn't. 18 karat gold is 75% pure gold. Yeah. Um, by the way, 14 karat gold is 58.5% yeah. pure gold. So you, you start to get an idea of why it's so expensive. So when you look at this and you think, oh my gosh, that is exactly, ex that's exactly what I would get if I were on the Ponte Vecchio. Yeah. Because if you ever go to Italy, what, and, and by the way, I think you should do this. Save your money, get one piece. Get the rest yeah. from us, but get one piece <laughs> from Italy. Unless you just have you know money to burn, in which case buy up the country, yeah. have at it. But I think you know for most of us, it's a major investment to buy a piece of gold, and I think you should buy one piece yeah. from Italy if you go. And if you can, you know, great. Your story but, of the first purchase you ever Yeah, the, the first time I went to Italy, I had saved for months, saved, saved. I had a very tight budget and exactly how much, and I went to the Ponte Vecchio and I spent hours, hours. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? I looked in every single shop and I looked at every single thing they had, and I asked the price. And I would try it on, and I would go to the next one. And I, because I knew, in my mind, I thought, oh my gosh, this is it. I am never going to be in this country again. I have to get one piece she didn't know she was gonna <laughs> that I'm going to love for the rest of my life. And so, of course, I bought something classic and beautiful and timeless, a beautiful woven Byzantine yeah. necklace. It's this kind of feel, classic, beautiful, exactly. timeless, loving it for the rest of your life. And yes, luckily I was wrong and I've been able to go back to Italy um, many times and I never get tired of going. But if you ever go to Italy, definitely save your money, get one piece, but it's gonna be yeah. something like this because you're gonna want something you're gonna love forever. Because 20 years from now, you're not gonna go in your wardrobe and say, eh, this is not in style anymore. This is kind of up. No, in 20 years, your daughter or your granddaughter is gonna go, can I borrow that? Yeah. Can I borrow that? You know, it will hey, you know that bracelet? Can I borrow that? I have a date tomorrow night. <laughs> there you go. Because it will be as relevant today, yes, uh, in those tw in 20 years as mm -hmm. it is today. It yeah. is just something that's not going to go out of style. So this one is very, very difficult to make, but the Italians have figured it out and they're doing it just for us Ooh, right now. Sure they the Yeah. So here you can see Look it's it. very comfortable, smooth. So when you open it up and you put it on your wrist, very, very comfortable. By the way, in, in this bangle and this, in this cuff and this cuff, there's a stainless steel wire and that's how it keeps its shape. Yes, there's an amazing that. amount of engineering inside this beautiful, beautiful piece of jewelry and it is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So this just started today at noon. That's four beautiful advance orders in honor of the Vicenza Jewelry Show. And by the way, one amazing piece coming up tonight yes. that we wanted to talk about. Um, oh, yes before we take this little table away. Sorry, I'm having the worst hair and eyes. Um, so this ring is so beautiful. 
whenever you think about something that has the look of a diamond and mm -hmm. you want a natural gemstone, yeah. it's not just something that can be cut like a diamond. It has to catch the light and throw the light yes. like a diamond. Yes. And the best natural gemstone for that is going to be zircon. Yeah, white zircon. And this does have that look of diamonds, but look at the saturation of that gemstone. This does look like the richest blue. This looks like a blue diamond all the way. And this is called blue appetite. Now, you can get blue appetite in all different shades of qual all different qualities, but this is called AAA quality. And I talked to the manufacturer about this, um, and they were explaining to me that they were giving us really from, from the, the best batch that he could he's ever found. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see this clear, almost like the sea, this blue. And it's very different than blue topaz, wouldn't you say? It is, it is very, very different than blue topaz, yes. I just, and I think there's something that's so rich when you combine this with um, the, the white zircon, but this is 2.8 carats. That's a lot, that's a big stone for, for blue appetite. Because blue appetite is considered in the exotic phase like it's you're getting into the where these stones are very rare and it's very rare to find um, a blue appetite this size so this is coming up at 8 p.m. tonight yeah. um, I'm gonna go ahead and Kick let you off. take that yeah and you're gonna go get some other things ready I also wanted to mention that um, coming up at 8 p.m. tonight we have the top that I'm wearing and speaking of made in Italy actually um, the beautiful jewelry that we were just looking at the advanced orders are made in Italy and this top is made in Italy and I love this top. This is a top that I love so much. I've asked for it to be made in a number of different colors and I have to say that I think the navy is one of my all time favorites. It is beautifully, beautifully done. It's gonna have a beautiful, almost like a, a softer satin finish in the front. This is woven, but then it's a knit on the sleeve, so super comfortable and knit in the back and a little bit longer, so super comfortable. So you look really pulled together, but you feel so comfortable. This is going to be beautiful with jewelry. You can tuck this in, you can leave this out, but it just looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. I love this top and I was so glad that we could get it for you. I think it's just beautiful. Now, one of the other things coming up tonight at 8 p.m. and I have to say, I am in love with these and I've been wearing them around so all good. weekend are these skinny jeans. Now, when I say skinny, I do not mean you have to think that you are skinny to wear them, okay? Because everyone's perception of what that is is different. What I'm saying is, this is a jean that is made to fit close to the body and it's gonna fit close to the body all the way down to the ankle. But here's the great part. These are so comfortable and so flattering. Oh, I had some shoes on, hold on. I mean, just see all the way to my ankle, I'm going to cover up my little feet there. Um, <laughs> so these are so comfortable and so flattering. And it's interesting because the other day I grabbed a pair of jeans out of um, my closet, out of the drawer, and I grabbed the wrong pair. And I put them on and I started running around and I thought, wow, these are really short and they just don't fit right. And then I realized they weren't the right pair. These are phenomenal. These are a high waist. These go to your waist. You know what makes me crazy? Pulling up my pants all day. You ever been there? Right, you know why I'm pulling up my pants? Because my love handles are pouring out over the top and forcing my pants down. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't judge, because I have them. Um, but you know, if you put a skinny jean and it doesn't come up to my waist, I spend all day like this, all day. I was like, could you get a belt? Get a belt, woman, because I just like they won't stay up. <clears throat> These are a high waist chain. They stay up beautifully. They have a little bit of hand sanding. I mean, they're just a little bit lighter here in front. Very, very subtle. They have real pockets in front, right? Not a jegging, a real pocket in front. Loving that. The belt loops, um, the, you know, the, the fly, the whole nine yards, the great little pockets in the back. Like these are, and they're so comfortable. Oh my gosh, I have to say, I have worn skinny jeans that feel like a tourniquet, like a punishment, like I'm in jean prison or something, I don't know. These are so comfortable and they don't look stretchy though, that's what amazes me. When I look at these, I think, these do not look stretchy, but they are, they are. And you know how, so if you've ever taken a red eye, a really, really long flight for a red eye, you know that you are looking for your most comfortable clothes. Most, I would wear these jeans, on a red eye, on the plane, 
absolutely comfortable, never have to adjust, never going to dig in, never going to fall down. These are the most comfortable things ever. So these jeans are coming up at 8 p.m. P.S. and by the way, I, I get these true to size. If it's a relaxed fit, I go down a size. I wear these in my regular size. I would order true to size in these. You are going to love them. They are going to go all the way to your ankle. These are absolutely perfect for wearing with boots right now. I was wearing boots the other day and just put them in my boots. Absolutely perfect. And they're gonna be just as great with my flip-flops in July. So these jeans are your new best friend. You are going to love them. They're coming up at 8 p.m. tonight. Okay, now also coming up this week, wait for it. We have, oops, hold on. This that I absolutely, absolutely love. Wait for it. Hold on. Little sleeve, little sleeve. Okay. Just like a hug. This beautiful, soft, cozy camel. Isn't this gorgeous? And it's this beautiful, soft gray underneath and it has the fringe. It's a beautiful wrap, but it has the sleeve. So now I'm going, I'm doing, right? This isn't falling off. I'm like, oh, there's my wrap. Oh, no, I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do. And it's gonna be right there. I can put my purse on my shoulder. I'm gonna be good to go. How great is this? Oh my gosh, love. And if you wanna just go, you know, it's a little bit colder. I'm just gonna... <sighs> yeah, nice. Maybe I'll wear that. I wonder what it's when I watch TV. That's how good it is. Um, so this is coming up um, this week as well, and I know you're gonna love it. Speaking of absolutely gorgeous, and coming up this week, wait for it, because last time we had this, there was a stampede. Um, this <laughs> is a two-in-one tote, and this is from our Touch of Couture line, meaning it has a real piece of a couture bag right up here. I love the brown, I love the vegan leather, super comfortable. It's actually gonna be a two-in-one, so you have this on the inside with a long strap. You can just wear this crossbody, you can put this in here, you can carry this this way. It's literally two bags in one. Oh, I wore the black version of this um, at Market in Atlanta. Okay, number one, let me just tell you. Wow, is that strong. I had a laptop and all my stuff in that bag. And whenever we would go somewhere and they would say, do you want me to take your bag? I'm like, here, and they would go, <laughs> right? It was hysterical. Even the men were like, what in the world is in there? I was like, man up, because I've been carrying it all day. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really, really strong. I've been testing it extensively for you. You got the feet on the bottom. This one is the brown. It's so gorgeous. I know you're going to love it. Um, the black one was gone in about two seconds. So. Don't wait on that if you're waiting on the black. Then we have, there's so many, oh wait. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest jacket. Isn't this the cutest jacket? I was wearing this with my skinny jeans and a pair of boots this week and I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of feel adorable. Um, so I love the jacket, it's olive, it's a puffer and it's gonna be a really cute style. You can also, because it has this on the side, kind of cinch it up to be uh, a little more kind of like blue song or just wear it straight it has the pockets the pockets will be stitched shut when you get it but it is a real pocket just to let you know this has a really beautiful dramatic collar or you can zip it up and be super warm love 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 so many good things so little time all right oh i should take off my little cape there um I'm trying to remember what else we have this weekend it's so good oh so cute my gosh, this is the cutest vest. Isn't this the cutest? So I love this kind of blanket inspired style, like a little bit of a, of a Southwest look, really flattering, really, really comfortable. Great with the t-shirt, great with the blouse. We have it in the black, like you're looking at here. We also have it, and I'm not saying this is going to go exactly because I'm, you know, wearing navy and this is anyway, but I just want you to see it on. So cute. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, how cute is this? Here's what's great. Really, really flattering. Notice how it just really just minimizes. Isn't that the cutest? <laughs> and now this is going to be so great with three-quarter sleeve, t-shirt, lightweight sweater, simple blouse. Oh my gosh, it's so cute so that's also coming up this weekend oh i'm telling you there's just too many cute things <laughs> this is 
the cutest sweater. So I love this sweater for a lot of different reasons. You can either leave the collar up and then it's nice and dramatic, or you can button it up and have it be really, really cozy all up around your neck. So two completely different ways to wear it. It's soft, cozy, this beautiful gray with the rib. Love that sweater. Can't wait for you to try that one on because it's adorable. And then, David, you want to come back for more jewelry and then we'll do home. This is a lot of stuff. Okay. If they want to see some new stuff, they're going to see it now. Okay. There you go. So this is some great stuff that we're bringing up now. and We're staying with Italy um, for the time being. And I love this jewelry right here. And I want to start with this. This is all Florence jewelry. Uh, it's made from a factory in Florence that does everything by hand. Yes. And they only do it in 18 karat gold. Um, and they've agreed to do 18 karat over sterling silver just for us mm -hmm. because of, again, the relationship that we built with them over the years. So I thought we'd just start here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's so many beautiful things. I'm going to pull this over here. Pull this out of the way and we're going to start here now one of the things i want to tell you is that this is the aesthetic that this factory has been known for this is a factory that typically only makes for the italian market and a little bit of the rest of europe they don't traditionally make for the american market yes and their 18 karat gold and gemstone pieces are what you would find in the finest jewelry stores in italy yes so if you are um, on the Ponte Vecchio, if you are on the Via Condotte, if you are shopping in a really high-end yeah. jewelry district in Italy, you will see their pieces. These are iconic Italian pieces. And they don't even really do this aesthetic anymore. They're doing it only for us. Yes. And I, I just think that's absolutely astounding. And the it's workmanship, so oh my gosh. So this necklace, look at this. Now this is going to be done with the man-made turquoise and the man-made pearls, yeah. just like they use in their yeah. 18 karat gold line. This is in 18 karat gold over silver, and look at all of these links covered in the beads. This is so much labor, I cannot even tell you. The craftsmanship's incredible. And I have been on the Ponte Vecchio, and I have definitely seen jewelry of like, I know that piece of jewelry. Yes. It was in the window, and I went in the exact piece, and I would say, I actually said, how much is this? It was 10 times the price of yes. what we would do. Of course. I mean, it was ridiculous. But I love the fact that we did a bracelet like this and it was so popular and successful. Mm -hmm. And I think it was one of one of you out there who said, hey, would you ever consider bringing this in a necklace? I'm like, okay, we'll Look. try. <laughs> right. like, but you know, it, it, it's beautiful. And it's, it's amazing. It's, and it's a wow and it's just a showstopper. And again, it is a lifetime wow. Yeah. Like you're gonna love it, your daughter's gonna love it, your granddaughter's gonna love it. Like this yeah. never, ever quits being one of the most beautiful pieces in any woman's wardrobe. Yes. And I love that. So then we also have this bracelet. Now, if you're looking for something that is a little more understated and a little, you know, a little bit more of, of, of an understated look, this is beautiful. This is gonna have this hammered texture in the bead and then the links. And here you have your choice of the pearl or the turquoise or the agate. Um, and these are exactly the same stones. They usually use man-made stones. Yeah. These are the same stones that they use in their 18 karat gold lines. Yes. And this is beautifully, beautifully done. And this is going to have a really beautiful lobster claw clasp. But look how pretty. That's very Italian. So every Italian factory wants to be the best at textures. They want to have their own individual texture. Mm -hmm. And I think this factory has just raised the bar so much on yeah. what they do. Look at these hammered beads, all done by hand. This starts off as a heavy metal. It has to have a lot of metal as a polished bead. And they hammer one by one into it. I've seen this being done before and it comes out with this gorgeous sheen to it almost. And I love the combination with the, with the oval links and the pearls and the turquoise. It just is something so special and beautiful in this. So all three of these, absolutely beautiful. Um, love those, love those, love those. And then we have this, which is so iconic. Oh my gosh. So, so this is a beautiful bracelet. And when you clasp it, you're gonna clasp it here with the lobster glass, sorry about that. And then you have this beautiful charm coming down. It looks almost like a little lantern. Um, and it's so Italian. Many, many years ago, the very first time we went to Italy, and I believe it was 1997, um, we did a show um, called, uh, that, that inspired a show called, from Town and Country. Yeah, Town and Country. And, and there was some of the most beautiful, iconic oh, yeah. pieces. 
in that show. This reminds me of those pieces. And what's amazing is that there are not a lot of factories around that do this kind of work anymore. Yes. And here you have these beautiful, beautiful pieces. And this bracelet is going to be in your choice of the turquoise or pearl, and it's beautiful. And it's so much attention to detail. The, the little charm that Lisa is showing right there has six different elements to it. That means all done by hand. You think like it's one bead that comes out of a machine? Not even possible. It's all different elements put together, and that doesn't include six different uh, turquoise beads. Those, that's one element I'm talking about. I'm talking about just the, the, the metal putting it together and creating this design is so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is gonna be your choice of stones, absolutely beautiful. This is, again, one of the most iconic, iconic looks. This is a factory yep. that is known for this look. It's what they do. They do a beautiful, beautiful job. And, and the workmanship and the labor is unbelievable. But I have to say, this is Italy. And yes. it's a look that you will find in any jewelry store that's carrying um, estate pieces, vintage pieces, high-end yeah. pieces in Italy. If you come down off the Rialto Bridge and you're going towards St. Yeah. Mark um, and you take a right, right, can we go through, just take yeah. a right, um, then right over your left, just look like a little yeah. half block down, like an ATM. Kind right of picture. There, um, is, is really one of those really high-end jewelry yeah. stores. And you see the beautiful little carved, yes, um, you know, in, in the window and you see the turquoise and you see the coral and you see the 18 karat gold. That's this. Yes look and yes. i love having something like that because it is just so beautiful and they really are not making for the american market but not only that they're not even making much new anymore so we're helping them with designs they're working especially for us mm -hmm. they're just they're, their workmanship is so amazing so so i love you. all those pieces and every time we bring you anything from this factory in florence it is very very popular yes very popular. Awesome. so loving those now let's put that in the center I'll okay this, out of the way. this this came from um, really a collection of bangles that is one of my favorites oh my in the gosh. world. So for, for many years, um, I would collect little 18 karat gold bangles. Um, and you know, some were wider and some were narrower and some were a little more round and some a little more square. And I ended up with 10 mm -hmm. of these gold bangles that I would just live in and wear all the time. Um, and of course, eventually they weren't looking too good because I, I just, I lived in them. And everyone always asked, oh my gosh, you know, there's beautiful, do you offer those? Yeah. So we finally, we worked with Italy to bring, to really make exactly those bangles. And you would be surprised how hard it was. Because oh they'd gosh. be like, oh, well, here's a bunch of bangles. No, that's not, I don't what I want. Want, that's not what I want. I want exactly, I want you to take each and every bangle of the 10, and I want you to make all the different shapes that are involved, <laughs> and I want you to make up exactly the set of 10. And at that point, I was very glad I didn't speak Italian because I don't even think that I want to hear what they were saying. <laughs> but you know what? They were I don't so care. like, oh, I'm over this. Because it's perfect. And I still live in this bangle set. In fact, I don't even wear my bangle set. No, I wear these. the one that we offer, and I, don't, and I absolutely love it. So this is going to be they really nailed it. 10 so. bangles. It's perfect. We have an all yellow, all white, all rose, or tricolor. And what makes up this set of 10? is going to be three of the small, three of the large, four of the middle size. Yes. So you can get all 10 in your choice of rose, yellow, white, rose, or tricolor, or you can get the three small, or the three large, or the four middle size in your choice of the four colors. Yeah, it, it might seem complicated, but when you're on the page, it's very clear on how you buy this, what you're interested in, um, and I think- I it's, suggest the 10. I mean, the pen are pretty amazing. It's by far the most popular one every often, but when you put them on, you hear that that's that solid uh, Wait, sound. Wait, I usually wear them on my left wrist, so I have to okay. wear my left wrist. Okay. So these just laid perfectly. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't know why, but they just, like, I just love, you know, like, I'm running around during the day, and I just love to kind of, they just kind of lay. The light seems to hit it off of so many different angles when you wear them, and it, it is fun to wear multiple bangles because, let's face it, We've been talking about layering for a long time, but mm -hmm. really, it really is one of the must-haves. I don't even call it a trend anymore. It's just a must-have. Everyone is trying to individualize their own jewelry and the way they wear it. And this is one way to do it. We're kind of doing the work for you a little bit, but imagine if you just bought the three and you want to mix it with your own bracelets, mm -hmm. or you want the 10 and you want to wear that with a beautiful watch. I mean, I think that would be beautiful. Oh you know, yeah. The watch. I mean, I have to tell you, you are going to live in this set of bangles. Like I yep. live 
in this set of bangles. Yep. And, and it doesn't matter whether we're offering it or not. If you see me, I'm probably wearing this set yep. of bangles. And it just, there's something, just it always falls perfectly and you're working and, you just, and it just, something about it. I don't know. And they got it exactly right, even though it, it took forever. It did took forever. And, <laughs> and it's just one of those, you are going to love this. Yeah. for years and years and years this is never going to go out of style it's always going to be beautiful you're going to get all 10 it's going to be perfect i love that we have it in all yep. of the colors um yellow white rose and tricolor you yep. can get some of the smaller um, you know sets i highly recommend this beautiful set of 10 and we've offered this a couple times mm -hmm. And I didn't think we'd be offering it, but we have continued to have so many requests on yeah. this bangle set. I was so glad that we could do it for yeah, you. I was shocked. I didn't think they would do it anymore for us. And they agreed again to do it for us as an advance order. So reserve yours and you know, it's like, it's great. We'll make it it's special perfect. for you. It's perfect. I am guaranteeing you, you will love this bangle set. Yes. I still live I in it. It's still my favorite. Can't get enough of it. So okay. that's also coming up this week. Then we yeah. have, this beautiful beautiful um earrings these gorgeous earrings are in your choice of the yellow the white or the rose and these are so perfect so these are done by the factory that we love where every single step is done by hand yes and it really has to be for them to be this perfect on the scale it's a designer who we met at the las vegas jewelry show uh, many years ago and they have an aesthetic to their jewelry because of her she's the president and she's the designer behind everything and it's something that she makes everything that would be an 18 karat gold has the fine look of 18 karat gold mm -hmm. because that's where she visits all over the world she visits everything in 18 karat gold and then puts her own spin on it but it's just something beautiful and the scale is perfect and yeah and the texture that she does is unbelievable um you have to look at the texture next to this this pave setting in, yeah. the, in, the, in the front it's but again, so beautiful you know one of the things that's interesting is that in a lot of cases you'll see a piece of jewelry and you know that it's meant to look like gold yep. and diamonds but you know it's not yep. and you know it's not because the labor of what is put into fine gold and diamonds is going to be very different labor than what's put into an affordable piece of yes. jewelry. So hand labor, every step is done by hand. It's yeah. typically only gold and diamonds, yeah. but the finishing and the fineness and the perfection requires every step to be done by hand. It's so true. I've never seen another line, another factory that will do this level of labor and not have it be natural diamonds. It, it, it's pretty incredible. What you said is so true. And you know, if you, I've been to a lot of factories and I know exactly what Lisa's talking about, but they really nail it when they come up with the design. I mean, it's just something that is so popular always when we introduce them because they're so wearable and they're just something that you would give as gifts or, or just buy for yourself. But they're not just, they're the traditional hoop earrings. They're always gonna have a little bit of a twist to them. They're always gonna have a little bit of something extra to them. Their attention to detail is amazing. The mesh texture on the side is, is unbelievable. The way they do it, it's all done by hand. Trust me, when you see these in person, they're amazing. Perfect. They're a hinged little huggy hoop um, and they're very wearable. So there you can see, look how perfect. That goes in your ear, click, perfect. So love those earrings. Those are coming up this week, cannot get enough of them. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful ring and this ring is so gorgeous. I love the way that it kind of has this negative Grab space. One of those so you can look. look at this. Do you see? You can just see through. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? They're just suspended in the center. I and this love. was this was the design we were going for. I wanted the illusion of three separate rings, and I think they really, really did a great job in showing the baguettes in the center and then the pave borders. To make it look like three separate rings, but we put it on and it just has this beautiful standalone look to it. It looks like high end diamonds. It really does. It's the finest diamonds. It's something that you would find in, you know, walking Madison Avenue again. You would see so, something like this. I love that we have this for you. I think it's so beautifully done. And this is also coming up this week. All right. Okay. Um, we have one more. You know what? I'm going to um, just do a few home yep. and then have you come yep. right back. Yep. All right, there you go. And Kate, can you um, point out to David Roche on you earlier? Yes. Okay, so 
Just want to mention a few really, really great home ideas that we have this week because I know you're going to love them. Number one, these pillows. How fun are these pillows? Um, they're beautiful pom-pom around. They have this gorgeous kind of waffle stitch, just this comfy, cozy, almost like a sweater pillow. Loving these in this beautiful, soft, mauve kind of blush. Doesn't that just make you want to curl up and watch TV? Just something about that. Mm -hmm. Put it on the bed, put it on the couch, put it on a chair. There's no wrong place to put those pillows and those are coming up this week. Mm -hmm. Now, candles. Kate and I were discussing how much we love mixing <laughs> and matching candles. You can never have too many candles mm -hmm. and you can never put too many different kinds of candles together. So I love this little petite white candle. This is a flameless candle. Now, usually we do ivory flameless candles and I love those. Don't be afraid to mix and match. These are the true white. Now, if you've been looking for white, here's your white. It is, it's not gonna be a harsh white, but it is a real white, and usually the ivory is what we do. So I love being able to have some variety. I love that these are gonna fit in so many different things. I think they're absolutely perfect. This blue and white, chinoiserie inspired, this is a beautiful square lidded jar. We had that in two different sizes. I love it with flowers coming out. I love it on its own. And the flowers coming out of this one, are these real touch grand roses i mean stop it these are so great i i just i can't even this is it, i don't even know i don't know how this did not grow this is so beautiful and the soft tones of the peach and the blush oh my gosh you're gonna get six of these in a set they're long stem they're perfect they're never gonna fade you can lay them down you can put them in a vase there is no wrong way to use them they are stunning they make everything look beautiful this beautiful open wood lantern 21 inches love it the little wood the little iron on top a little bit of whitewash i love these lanterns i love them with candles i love them with flowers i love them with fairy lights i love them with anything there is no wrong answer then look at this beautiful taper candle mm -hmm. this is a soft like silky satiny little bit of a pearl blush and it's flameless so how gorgeous is this you just put batteries in it and it's amazing so this set of tapers is going to be four i love them they're so beautiful i love these candlesticks instead of these three candlesticks that are beautiful classic go with everything cannot go wrong with those candlesticks wait i'm going to turn around um then we have these beautiful lanterns this is going to be your choice of sizes and it's kind of a rustic handmade look but it's going to be in a beautiful kind of soft pewter which i love so we have two different sizes in that it has this glass hurricane in the center with a little um, ridge around we put some beautiful fairy lights in this one we put a candle in that one there is no wrong way to use oops that one luckily it's flameless so it's going to be fun um, <laughs> And I always like putting candles in every little nook and cranny, so that's why Hi. I just like putting that candle right there. <laughs> um, which you can do with flameless. Don't do that with the real flame. <laughs> then, by the way, these beautiful tulips. Look at this. You have the deeper pink, you have a lighter pink, and you have a pink and white mix. This is going to be a set of three bundles. You get one of each of these, so you mix them and you match them, and they're beautiful. All these three are just so gorgeous. And these fairy lights that you're seeing, if you're like, wow, those don't look like any fairy lights I've seen before. They have little stems, and they have like, they're curvy, and they're beautiful. Very different set of fairy lights, absolutely gorgeous. You're going to get two of those. And I don't know about you, but once again, Kate and I decided that we are huge fans of fairy lights. I love them everywhere, all year round. Mm -hmm. Everything looks better with fairy lights. Just put on a t-shirt. Everything looks better with fairy <laughs> lights. Wear it, own it, go with it, okay? Um, your friends will steal the t-shirt because it's so true. So loving everything under the lights, the candles, the lanterns, the flowers, the tulips, the roses, the candlesticks, and mm -hmm. then this lamp, right? Who doesn't love a great lamp? This is a beautiful lamp and it has this um, rustic kind of distressed beautiful curves in the base of the lamp um, and i love the shade that comes with it so you're good to go on that by the way one of the things you can't see because we have it laying down here as a tray uh, but it's really beautiful is this gorgeous gorgeous mirror with the scroll kind of all the way around this is going to be so beautiful in so many different places in your home here's the other size of the blue and white lidded jar with the chinoiserie influence and then here's one of our again roses with the tulips, the petite white flameless candles, the open wooden lantern, and the list goes on and on. So all these beautiful home ideas are coming up. And then, how gorgeous is this? Oh my gosh, I just have to put that on. Um, this is so fabulous. So here's what's great about this. Number one, super cute. But number two, it actually is super warm. 
because it's not just faux fur on the trim, it's no. faux fur on the inside. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, isn't it? Oh, it's cozy. It is so snug. Cozy. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Ah, it's so nice. Okay. So um, this is coming up this week too. So thank you, Kate, for making sure I didn't forget that because I love it so much. All right, David, you're ready? Okay. I'm just going to leave this on because I love it. <laughs> Mine not. Again. Okay. All righty. Now, so many gorgeous pieces, so little time. Okay. Now, wow. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay. This ring, number one. That's how much do we much, love this ring? Very much on trend right now. What's happening with the staggered stonework? And this is where they take all these stones and, like a puzzle, they put them all together one by one. This is all baguettes, Ooh. all baguettes, <laughs> and baguette stones, and they put it together. And it's got this beautiful shape to it. It's that elongated rectangle, but it's curved, so it fits right on your finger. It's very comfortable. Um, and I love the way the light hits this from all different angles because the way the stones are set causes that because they're all beautifully done. So loving that. And by the way, durable too, because I just dropped the yellow. But here it is. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Loving that ring. That's coming up. Speaking of an absolutely beautiful look, these earrings are fabulous. I have to tell you, I love these earrings and I love the fact that they're just the right size. They're two inches in diameter and they just give you just enough wow without being too big. Yeah. So they look important without looking yeah. like, you know, a poodle's gonna be jumping through it. Um, and yeah. they're just the right scale of the yeah. stones. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so these are so perfect. And I was wearing these earlier with the green puffer jacket, which has a lot of yeah. color and they were perfect. So yeah. you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. Yellow or white, you're gonna love these. And look at the mechanism on this very quickly. It's precision mechanism. It's a very expensive mechanism to use on earrings, but it's very so high quality perfect. and it's so easy to do it. The thinness of these earrings are what makes them. That yes. makes them look fine, like real diamonds in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And that's what's so beautiful about these and not to mention the size is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these away. Again, yep. we have so many beautiful things and I don't want you to miss anything. Yep. This ring, David, is amazing. So very I, quickly. I Well, first of all, the, the ap neon appetite on the border of this is so Rich. It's it's such wow. a it's it's the reason they call it neon and that's the real because it's it. really beautiful. It's beautiful. But look at the center stone. Look at the richness wow. of that stone. That is unbelievable. It's, I think it's 15 carats almost. I mean, it's just, is that moonstone? Yeah, moonstone. Because that's some of the best color yeah. I've seen in moonstone. Yeah. I mean, that almost has an opal look yeah. to it. Yeah. When you see the flash, wow. It's just a beautiful combination. I think wow. everything about it is beautiful. So that ring is coming up this week as well. One of the other things that I absolutely love. Oh my gosh, love, this is not long for this one. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful little tennis bracelet and it's done in a friendship style and it's just the perfect size. Like the stones are the perfect size and they're each bezel set. It's beautiful. The bezel setting is really important because you bezels do not hide the, the shape or the color of the stone, the quality of the stone. And so when you bezel it, it has a much cleaner look, no prongs involved. And I love this is the adjustable, what we call the friendship bracelet. Some people call it the bola bracelet, but it has that adjustable part that makes it easy. You put it on by yourself, any size fits most. It's beautiful. So loving those. And then by the way, wow. <laughs> Speaking of gems, how you doing? Look at that. This is one of the most beautiful, beautiful bracelets, and that is more wow than most women get to own in a lifetime. That is 40, over 41 carats of enhanced ruby, um, and it is just spectacular. The color is amazing. Everything about this is just so well made. Um, and you know, when we go to Italy, we're looking for certain products. When we go, this is from Thailand, and we go there and it's just, they have some of the most beautiful gemstones there, all mined, and it's just something, it's beautiful, this look bracelet. The, the color saturation, and that's what you look for in a gemstone. Mm -hmm. You want it to be so saturated because yeah. you, don't, you don't want it to be muted. And this just, this just wow. works with so many wow. different things. Wow, 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 wow. Um, and then, of course, speaking of gems, we have this absolutely beautiful pearl necklace. And yes. this is seven to 11 millimeter yeah. ringed pearls that are draping down 
from this necklace in your choice of yellow or white. Yes, and it's just the most beautiful pearls. Uh, I love, they call this ring pearls because they have that little ring, but they're kind of organic, but they're beautifully, they're, the size is beautiful. It's a bold statement when you wear them. Very feminine. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful cube necklace. And this has been, we cannot carry any cube necklaces and keep them in. Well, this is brand new because unlike the other one, which are cubes going connected all the way, which is the most popular, this is even better because it's called the super cube. And each of those cubes has a bar in between. Mm -hmm. And so what that does is give it more flexibility. Light loves anything that's, that's a cube because it hits off different angles. And it's so fluid and flexible, you're gonna love this. Um, so it's going to catch even more light. Yep. Yeah. How gorgeous beautiful. is that? And what are the lengths and colors in this one? Um, this is uh, offered in yellow and white, and I believe it is six, 16, 18, 20? Or no, no, no. 18. 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. 18, 20. I was going to say 18 because this yes. one looks longer. Right. 18, Thank 20, you. 24. Thank you for um, there you go. So that one is also um, coming up as well. So I know we were rushing because there was a lot of One control. thing I have to say. Yes. I want to correct myself if I can. Okay. I was calling this Blue Appetite and it's coming up after the show. Right now, actually. And it's, it's Blue Zircon. Right. Which is, by the way, just, it doesn't change the quality right. of this. It doesn't change the rareness. But I just hate the fact that I was calling it the wrong stone. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. I wanted to make sure because I was like, hmm. So Blue Zircon, okay. very, very much the look of a, be a blue diamond. Out. Absolutely gorgeous. It's available right now. So right now, this beautiful navy top I'm wearing, these jeans I'm wearing, that beautiful ring, all of that is available right now. And I think that's it, right? We've got it all. That's okay. All. Thank you so Thank much. You, everyone. We have many, many beautiful things coming up this week. We have a lot of great shopping for you. Thanks for sticking with us for an hour. There was a lot to cover. Don't forget the advance <laughs> order on the um, Italian jewelry pieces are going away soon. So definitely grab them. Thanks, Bye, everyone. everyone.